What's up YouTube? Today we are gonna do the front shock and spring assembly replacement on this 2018 Jeep Renegade. Uh, before we get into it though, I want to take a minute to say thank you to everyone that's subscribed to my channel, viewed my videos, uh, liked my videos, even disliked them. Um, I definitely appreciate every single one of you and I'm doing the best I can to keep putting content out for you guys. So here's another video. Um, hopefully it helps some of you guys out. So first, we're going to need to take these covers off, these wiper arms, and remove the two nuts, which are 17 millimeter, and then we'll move to the cowl cover and re remove I believe there's five clips holding this on. We'll take this off and we'll be able to get to the um, top of the strut take, so we can work on all that. Pull these off, these covers. We have the old impact gun. Lift your wiper arm up. Pull the wipers right off. With this one, sneak it by the hood. Do a little wiggle, and pull. Pull it right up. All right. All right. All right. Pull this ABS line out of that bracket. Then I'll remove this retainer clip for the brake line. Just let that dangle there. Work this out of its little mount. All right, now, it's a little dirty. It gets a little muddy up here in New Hampshire, especially this time of the year. But anyway, we're gonna remove this 18 millimeter nut, which will take off the upper sway bar link. And it is a, a T40 that fits in here. We'll hold that in place and remove it. Take that off. Then we'll come down here. Remove the steering knuckle from the bottom of the strut assembly. This side is a 16 millimeter. 
using six point. And this side is a E18 socket, but you can replace that with a 6.14 millimeter, which that's what I'm gonna use. For anyone that don't know what they're E18s and all the E sockets are. It's these ones. I only have up to a E16 and that does not fit as you can clearly see. So let's do that and then we will move up top. You want to break it loose with your wrench first so you don't take the risk of snapping your T40 bit. And once it's loosened up, you should be able to use the ratchet. Keep going with it. And actually, as you can see, since I'm doing this, I'm actually tightening as what, what would be tightening. To remove this. Sway bar link down. Now oh, got our fourteen, got our sixteen. Those bolts a little tap with the nut still on. Now remove your nut and your washer. And both of them. And just hold your steering knuckle. You should be able to pull both of the bolts right out with no problem. Work your steering knuckle out of the strut assembly. Just be very gentle not to do any damage to your CV axle by pulling it out too far. Those are a pain in the ass to get back in place if you pull the knuckle out. So now we're going to go up top and take the three E14 bolts out that hold the uh, top of the strut assembly to the mount up top and this baby should drop down all right use the impact gun it's a lot faster so remove two of these completely and then your third one loosen up and then if you can if you got long enough arms reach around Grab onto the strut assembly from the spring and hold it in place and remove the last bolt and then pull the strut assembly out from the back. You should be good to go.
the back. And there you go. Um, I'm replacing the whole straw and spring. But if you did want to just replace just the spring or just the strut, you have to take this cap off right here. And this is a number six Allen key. I believe this is a, yeah, it's a 16, 16 millimeter. So you need a 16 millimeter wrench, a number six Allen key, and a spring compressor. Put your spring compressor right on the spring, compress it down, hold your Allen wrench there, and start loosening that nut with your wrench. Take your cap off, pull your spring off with the compressor still on. Take your spring off, undo your spring compressor, um, put the compressor on the new spring, tighten it up. Put it back on, put your cap on, screw your nut on, and you're gonna have to just use your Allen key again with your wrench and tighten it all up to spec. But we're not doing that, so we're gonna throw the all new assembly on. I'm gonna go grab that right now and I'll be right back. All right. Grab our strut assembly. Make sure it's facing the right direction. Line all your bolt holes up. Just start threading the three bolts in place. We're gonna torque these bolts, 45 foot pounds. Next, we'll line our steering knuckle up to the bottom of the strut assembly. Get that in place. Just pick up your steering knuckle, grab your bolts, stick them through. Make sure you're going the right direction. your washers and your nuts back on. As you guys can see, I'm reinstalling the old strut assembly. Unfortunately, I got sent the wrong parts for both sides. The other side was completely wrong, and this side is the whole strut assembly is correct, other than the steering knuckle, where that goes into the strut assembly on the bottom. It's like three eighths of an inch too narrow, so the steering knuckle will not go into place right here. So we're just gonna reinstall these for now until we get the new ones. But I'll still finish this how-to video for you guys. So we'll grab our 14 and our 16. And tighten these babies back up.
just gonna get them snug. And then I'm gonna use the torque wrench. These I'm torquing the 75 foot pounds and then a 90 degree turn to finish up. Here's the click. We'll come down to the bottom one. 90. All right, so now we'll do our 90. Good. Come here. There we go. So that's all set. Grab our sway bar link. Put that back through its hole. Put your nut back on. Grab your 18 millimeter wrench and your T40. So we torque this to 59 foot pounds, sway bar link, bolt. That's all set. And we'll put our brake line back in place, put the retainer clip back on, and then Put the ABS line back in its spot. And now we'll reinstall the cowl cover and the wiper blade arms. We should be looking pretty good. That pretty much uh, finishes up this job. Other than putting your tires back on and taking your jack stands out and all that good stuff. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. Unfortunately, I didn't get to install the brand new 
strut assemblies. Um, I'm gonna have to do the sway bar links by the looks of them. I was feeling around, they're making some clicking sounds. But yeah, if you guys uh, like this video, you can give it, give it a like. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Um, I definitely appreciate every single person that subscribes. Um, yeah, you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video.